welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, another bit of Sudoku entertainment, if that's really a phrase for you. Um, now, first of all, a warning about my voice. I have picked up a sore throat from a family member. Um, I'm still testing negative on the lateral flow, so that's good news, but uh, there may be a very sexy rasp or some very unsexy snorting or something to be done at some point. Anyway, let's hope that doesn't get in the way of the video. Um, now, this puzzle has come to us from, well, it's by Backpow, which is a pseudonym for Heel Beanhacker, who is, well, a long time friend of the channel, just understates the case too strongly. Heel is responsible for the catalogue of our videos, which I just had a look at it. It shows we have just passed, I sometimes get this number wrong, but we have now just passed two and a half thousand videos that we've made since we began. Um, so the spreadsheet that catalogues them is an incredible resource. It gives all the uh, video names, constructors, lengths of the videos, uh, what variants are solved. Um, it really is incredibly helpful. So thank you so much to Heal for doing that. Now, beyond that, he's also one of the moderators on Discord, which he helped set up, I think. So fantastic job done there as well. Um, and he has become one of the top uh, the top solvers in the Netherlands. So uh, he really has developed from a, a standing star into an absolute stalwart of the Sudoku world. And we are very grateful to have him occasionally. Um, well, he didn't send us this puzzle. It was actually recommended by the Discord server. So he put it on the Discord server. They occasionally recommend some puzzles to us. Um, it doesn't matter that this is from one of their own. It is a really good killer Sudoku, apparently. So do give it a try. Um, now, I do have other things to mention as well, of course. Uh, and this is the first of the month. So our new Patreon content is out now. That is on Patreon. If you join us there at the $2 level, you will be able to take part in the monthly Patreon reward. It is a a three-way duel, which is known as a Mexican standoff, and uh, that is available on Patreon. Um, when we get to the 20th of the month, which is the deadline for entering the competition, um, we will probably put out a video of the solution as well. We're looking forward to that. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy those puzzles too. Um, our book is arriving in many locations across the States. You can almost we should probably have put up a map somewhere for people to tick off when they get their books. It seems to be rolling out from the west to the east. So the first person we knew who received it was in the Philippines. Then it seems to have crossed the Pacific and be rolling across the west to the east of the US and Canada. Um, and hopefully then it'll get to Europe. Uh, so if you're in, I don't know where the last place it'll go is, but... Uh, I guess Asia will be, well, Western Asia might be struggling. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you very much to those who are reporting they're getting it and loving it. That's very lovely. It's very lovely to hear. So that's the book. That's Patreon. We've got Discord covered there. Our apps and, uh, oh, yeah, very interesting um, review of Sven Sudoku Pad. Very favorable review, actually, by... Oh, what's he called now? Das something. Um, anyway, he's a sort of gamer who's who's had a look at this, and uh, I should really remember. I'm sorry. I'll put a card up, and that's on YouTube as well. Anyway, so loads going on. All of those apps are available as well, um, and our merchandise. You can get your old bobbins cap for those moments when uh, a dunce's hat just isn't enough. And lots going on, as always. Now, let's have a look at this puzzle. The rule's simple to state because it is a regular killer Sudoku. Digits don't repeat in cages, which show their sums in the top left-hand corner, and normal Sudoku rules apply. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I understand this is kind of medium difficulty. You can judge from the video length, perhaps. Um, but I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, we've got, we've got quite a lot of 13 and 14 cages that are four cells. Now, 13 cages are more helpful. They always have to contain a one. 
I think there are, are there three or four variants? I think there are three variations of how you would, what does this mean? Right, these two cages must both contain a one. Yeah, sorry, I was going to finish the thought. Come on, brain, get there. Um, I think you can make up a 13 cage in three different ways. One, one, two, three, seven, one, two, four, six, and one, three, four, five. Now, a 14 cage doesn't have to have a one in it. So, that's not so certain. Let, let, yes, what I was going to observe next was the one... The, the, the ones in column one and two must be in these two cages. So clearly one of them is in those cells. One of them can be in column one, and the other one has to be in those cells. And there being a one in those two cells actually knocks that one out of the column and those ones out of the box as possibles. So what does that do? It confines a one to one of these three cells. But that could still have a 1 in. This could still have a 1 in. Okay, it's not all about 1s. What about the total of these two cages? They add up to 26. These three must add up to at least 21. That's the minimum for six digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 add up to 21. So these add up to at most 5. We know they contain a 1, but the other, the other digit can't be more than 4. Ah, ah, here's a nice thought. Right, and the thought encapsulates itself as where does 9 go in this row? 9 can't appear in a 4-cell 13 cage because the other digits would only add up to 4 and they would have to have repeats. The same is true of 9 in a 14 cage. The other three digits, 1, 2, and 2, for instance, would add up to 5. So 9 does not appear in any of those cells, because it just won't fit into those cages. So in this row, 9 is in one of these cells, and part of this 19 cage. Look, the same is true in this row. It's symmetrical. This whole puzzle is sort of very symmetrical about the central axis in a mirror way. That means that we have a sort of X-wing on nines in columns eight and nine, and the nine in column seven must be in one of these three cells. So this 20 cage is nine plus a pair making 11. There's another pair making 11 in there. One, which can't contribute to an 11 sum, must be in one of these two cells. That's quite interesting. That means that one is not in those cells. One is also not in those cells. So one in the central row is in one of these three. I don't know. It probably doesn't get us very far. Can we do the same with eights? And the answer is no. Ah, we can do something with eights down here. Something very helpful. Yes, this is good. Where does eight go in this row? Well, again, eight can't be in a 13 cage because the other three digits would add up to five. So 8 is not in any of those cells. Now 8 is also not in these two, because you'd be only left with 2 in the 19 cage, which would be a pair of 1s. That doesn't make sense. So 8 in this row is now not allowed in any of those cells and must be in one of these. And that must go with a 1, 2, 3 to make up the 14 cage. Ah, and look, all of these cells... Oh, this is a very important way of looking at this puzzle. All of these cells see these two. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that this cell, well, all of these three are in the same row as these two, so clearly they can't be the same digit. This one is in the same box, so it's the same thing. So that's what I mean by all of those four cells see those two. Now, that means they don't contain one. There is a 1 in one of these two. Up here, yes, there must be a 1 in the 13 cage. This does work. There must be a 1 in the 13 cage, and all of those cells see these two. So there's not a 1 in those two, and we now know because there's a 1 down there, there's not a 1 in those two. 
So now we know that this 14 cage at the top doesn't have a 1 in, and it must then be 2, 3, 4, 5, the next four smallest digits. Now they all see both of these cells, which doesn't really tell me a lot. Um, 1, 2, 3, 8, see, right, now what did we say the 13 cage was made up of? It's either 1, 2, 3, 7, and it's not that, because how would you fill these two cells if you can't use 1, 2, 3, or 8, which see them both? In a 1, 2, 3, 7 cage, well, you could put a 7 in, but you can't put another digit in. So this is not 1, 2, 3, 7. It's either 1, 2, 4, 6 or 1, 3, 4, 5. Both of those have a 4 in. If it's 1, 2, 4, 5, the 2 is not there. It's down here with the 1. If it's 1, th sorry, if it's 1, 2, 4, 6, the 2 is not there, it's down here. If it's 1, 3, 4, 5, the 3 is not there, it's down here. So there's no 4 here. This is 1 with either 2 or 3. And there's definitely a 4 here. And it's 4 with either 5 or 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. That is 7 possible digits. Okay. So there is a 1 here, and either 2 or 3. So both 2 and 3 aren't here. One of these is 2 or 3. And whichever one it is, is going to determine... So again, this can't be 1, 2, 3, 7. Because one of those now has to be the 2 or 3 that appears down here. So this isn't 1, 2, 3, 7. If it's 1, 2, 4, 6, then 3 appears here and 2 appears here. If it's 1, 3, 4, 5, um, then 2 appears here and 3 appears here. Now, either way, it's got a 4 in again. And all of those cells see all of these, so there's no 4 here. So there's definitely a 4 in one of those two. Now, either this has got a 2 or a 3 in it, and that's going to mean that here you either have 4, 2, or 4, 3. So 5 is now definitely in those two cells. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to fill in all the candidates, ridiculous as it might seem. We've either got 1, 2, 4, 6, or 1, 3, 4, 5. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I can now see this is a a sextuple in row two. Those must be made up of one, two, three, four, five, six. These other three cells are seven, eight, and nine. And this one can't be eight or nine in a 13 gauge. So we get our first full digit. That's a seven. So there's no four there. This is a seven, one, two, three cage. That's an eight, nine pair. These add up to seven, and I'm willing to bet they're three, four because I sort of think we might get one, two here, but I don't know this. Ah, we've got a one, two, three, four quad in column seven. So this is either, does this have to be nine, five, six now? Yes, it does. With seven there, because uh, uh, there's an eight, nine in the cage, and eight there. Now, Oh, I was going to say 8 in this row. No, 7 now can't be here. So 7 in this row has to be in those cells. 16, so that is a 1-2 pair. That does prove what I suspected. That's a 3-4 pair. This can't be 5-6-9 or 3-4 or 1-2. So it's 7 or 8, making this 3 or 4. I am going to pause to blow my nose. I'm sorry about this. There we go. So we've got a 3-4 pair here now. We've also got 2-3-4 triple up there. So everything else in this box is from 1-5 or 6. That can't be a 1 because of the 1-2 pair. We've got a 7-8-9 triple down here. So that's 5 or 6. 1-2-3 triple. So those are from 4-5-6. So that's a 1-4-5-6 quadruple. This is a very clever puzzle. That fixes this cell as a 3. 
Now we can untangle all the eights, nines, and sevens in the final columns, I think, or most of them. Um, yeah, that becomes a four. Ah, and we're going to figure out, oh, sneeze time. Sorry, I'm sure I sound very nasal as well. But anyway, um, we figure out that this has got two four in those cells. So I think we're going to work out all these 14 and 13 cages. If three five are there now, now this can't be a one, three, four, five cage because you couldn't fit those in two. So we can take out three, five. It's a one, two, four, six cage. No, that doesn't feed across, but two, four. So this is now one, three. In this 13 cage, that means these two are four, five. Let's take out the corner marks because they're not really adding anything anymore. Even up there, we can get rid of one and four. Right, now four, five, well, that's a sextuple again. So we get a six here in the 13 cage. So this must be six, one, two, four to make up the, the 13 sum. Oh, these can't be ones we worked out earlier, but we've got a one, two, three, four quadruple in the first column. That's five or nine. Uh, right, and with that one, two, three, four quadruple, we know what this all adds up to. 10 plus seven is 17 plus six is 23. The total of these two cages is 26. So these other two are a one and a two. And that fixes what these cells are, three and four. This is very neatly done, this puzzle, it really is. Um, what else do we get now? We've got a four to go in here along with the one that we figured out earlier. Um, we've got a one, two pair in the row, another one in the next row. So this 21 cage doesn't have a one or a two in it. So three, four, five would be, tw uh, three, four, five, nine, no, it's not that helpful. Three, one, two, four, eight. Can't be in those cells, so it's in one of those two, which means it's not there. Um, one, two, and seven are still to be placed. Ah, two is a pair here and is clearly not in the middle row here. So two joins one and four in this section. Now we can do some maths on the central box. I don't think we've used 45, the sum yet, but we're about to. The sum of one to nine, the big secret behind all Sudoku rows, columns, and boxes, they all add up to 45. Now, if this central box adds up to 45, we know that this highlighted area adds up to 53. 25 plus 21 plus the 1, 2, 4 in the middle. 53. So these two cells add up to 8. Well, they're not going to be 3, 5 as a pair, because that can't be 3 or 5. Uh, so they're either 6, 2 or 1, 7. This one can't be a two because of the one, two pair. So if they're six, two, they're that way round. If they're one, seven, same way round, low digit there, high digit there. And I'm not sure what the answer is yet, but. So across the middle, three, eight, one, two, four. These are from five, six, seven, and nine. That's not adding anything. Must be missing something significant going on now. Maybe I can use this six or seven in the 21 cage. These others, oh right, yeah, they add up to 14 or 15, but we can't use one, two, or four. So three, five, and must need those, eight. Yeah, this, this box must be three, five, six, seven. It's got to be. Uh, and therefore, eight and nine are going in this cage. Sorry, a cage, I should have called that. Eight and nine are going in that one. So eight's not there. We'll place it, hopefully, here. 
That is seeing a one-two pair. I've only just noticed that's been available for a while. Um, these go with either a six or a seven and a one or a two there. Now we've got a one-two pair. There's an eight-nine pair, so that's not nine. This isn't five. I have a feeling we're not going to get this all. That's five, six, or seven. Right, um, still need to do a little bit more somewhere. One, two, three, eight, quad. Um, not seeing how that works. These one, two pairs. There's another one, two pair, so that's not a one, so we place one in box three. So that's not a one. Could have known that anyway. One of these is a seven by Sudoku. One of these is a three. I think we're very nearly there now. Oh, that one is looking down at that number. Right, yeah, this is gonna do a lot actually. One, two, that's fixing these cages on the left. That gives us a one there. That puts a seven there because we worked out they added up to eight. So now we're getting everything done, I think, suddenly. This set must be a 987 to make the other 24 in the 25 cage. This has become a 1. Actually, that 2 was available for some time. We've just seen that. <clears throat> uh, that 5, 6 pair. That's not a 9. That's one of 5 or 6. So one of those two is a 9. That's not 7. These can't have a 1 in anymore. These can't have a 2 in. So that's quite important, actually, because there's now a 2 up here. And there's not a 2 down here. There is a 1 down here. And not a 1 here. So the 1 in this box, in this cage, must be there. Um... going on in this column then. Nothing that helpful. Um, three, five, one, two, four, six, seven. That can't be a one anymore. Oh, I just think I'm on the verge of this completely falling over and I can't quite see it. That's not a two. This is where two goes in the cage. That was analogous to that one. So there's a two in one of those two cells. There's a seven in one of those two. What have we got up the first column? Five, eight, and nine still to place. One, three, two, four, six, eight. We don't. Ah, oh, seven can't be there or there. So the seven in this column is actually here. It feels like one of those deductions that won't get a lot else done. Um, that seven has fixed seven at the top of the grid. So just one. Oh, that is now a seven nine pair. That seven must be there. Oh, nine might not be. Nine could be over here. Okay, two, one, seven, three, now five, six. One of those is a four. Oh, this is peculiar. I really thought I was done a little while ago and it's, it's holding up some resistance. Um, now there's a two in one of those cells and a one down there, so that is a four. Aha, that's quite helpful. Now there's not a four there. That's a four. That's fixing things, two and six. So all these cages at the top, apart from that pair, are done. Still doesn't quite resolve this. Two, six, seven, four. That can't be six. Two, six, seven, three, five, 
four in this box must be there. And then there's an eight, nine pair to come. That's forming an eight, nine pair here. That can't be two, so we've placed two in the bottom box. Eight, nine pair in column six with a one, two, seven, three, five, four, and six. So that has to be three or six. So that's a three, five, six triple, and we've placed four in the column. That's how to find that. Five there, that does three, five. This is now six, three, and five. That's three or nine. So three must be in one of these cells for the column, so that's a six. Right, that does get quite a bit done. Five, four, six, five. That can't be a five anymore. Uh, that's nine in the column, and that fixes all these eight, nine pairs that were left over. That's going to resolve column four and the 14 cage with a three there. One and three, seven, eight, nine, still to go in in the bottom row there. Four, five pair can be put in. In the top row, three, five, nine, six and eight here. And now we are finishing off, thank goodness, six and five. That is a very neatly done puzzle, isn't it? Really lovely use of the cages together. And there we go. Very nice. I don't... Not sure I understand why it was called Don't You Dare. Is it about Don't You Dare put a one in there or something? I'm not sure. Sorry if uh, if it's obvious for some reason. But uh, that's a really nice puzzle by Backpow and uh, hope you had a go at that. Very approachable, I think, but very entertaining. Certainly helps to have the insight about what those cells all see. Um, I don't know if that's in the official solution path, but certainly very useful to me. So thank you as always for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.